Okay, so we had already started this on the previous video and we had gotten to that particular point in time. So now we're up to finding the 80th percentile. If I want to find the 80th percentile, I have to do 0.80 because that's 80% times the 15 scores. And 0.8 times 15 is 12. That's it's nice that it worked out to a whole number. So 12 is the 80th percentile. Now I will caution you, this particular problem started on zero. If it would have started on something higher, then we couldn't have begun there. Um, last, find the mean and the standard. If it didn't begin there, I would have to add it to wherever it began. So I would add 12 to whatever I started with. Um, find the mean and the standard deviation. Well, the mean formula says A plus B over 2. We already said A was 0, B was 15. Add them up, divide by 2, I get 7.5. Remember, A is always the first number. B is always the last number or the highest number. A is the lowest number. And the standard deviation is just B minus A, 15 minus 0, squared, divided by 12, always divided by 12. And then i got to square root that, which gives me 4.33. Okay, so now we're going to get going on the next question that we have to review here a little bit. Oh, I did the wrong one there. Hold it. And here's where we go for the next question, okay? We're going to do stop and start right now. You're going to begin, and then I'm going to start answering questions. We're in a rush here because of the way this is chewing through memory. Okay, so A is 451 and B is 521 because the lowest hours is 451, the highest is 521. That's how you find A and B. Write the distribution. So that's the notation that says X tilde, U for uniform distri distribution from 451 to 521. So that's standard operating procedure there. Find the mean and the standard deviation. Well, you need the formula again. You just had them a minute ago. By now you should know it's A plus B over 2 and the square root of B minus A squared over 12. So I start pumping through with those numbers. Oh, and let me just go back one there. And the mean works out to be 451 plus 521 over 2. That's A and B, A plus B over 2, which is 486. And the standard deviation, if I do 521 minus 451, B minus A, square it, divide by 12, and then square root it, I get 20. Point two. Okay, the next part up in this said, um, what's the probability that the duration is between 480 and 500? So between 480 and 500 is a total of 20, and it's evenly distributed from 451 to 521, and that's a distance of 70. So it's 20 times 1 70th, which is 20 over 70, which reduces to 2 sevenths. Okay, one more to do on these guys, which I will do in a minute. 